iron Mike Tyson. Never had the world seen a heavyweight with the devastating ability to disappear and appear where his opponents least expected him. Packing a ferocious punch in each hand, he delivered a devastating end to their knights and sent them straight to the shadow realm. Tyson's speed and agility more than made up for his lack of height and reach advantage. He fought with a fire that threatened to burn up the whole arena and inspired awe and fear in anybody that witnessed his fights. Most of his fights ended in the first round, but the manner of carnage he brought into the ring made for great entertainment. Before a fight, Tyson's gaze pierced his opponent's soul as he sized them up while the referee blotted out pre-fight instructions. Iron Mike Tyson was barely listening as he was laser focused concentrating on the sorry prey in front of him to make sure that it made no last gasp attempt to escape the ring before the first bell that would grant Tyson all the permission he needed to send them to hell. Tyson famously said he gained erections from participating in the violence, such an atrocious statement that sent shivers down the spine of every boxing fan. Tyson's aura walked with him as he approached the ring in nothing but black shorts and black shoes without socks, just ready to deliver the most pain he could to anyone who had made the grave mistake of signing a contract to fight with him. He walked around the streets without security, almost wishing any man who was born of a woman would dare him so he could teach such a person the true meaning of pain and torture. So, who could scare such a man? Enter Tommy Morrison. He's got a great left hook. Period. End of paragraph. Tommy the Duke Morrison started his professional boxing career on November 10th, 1988, with a first round knockout of William Mohammed in New York City. Three weeks later, he scored another first round knockout. In 1989, Morrison had 19 wins and no losses. 15 of those wins by way of knockout. That same year, after Sylvester Stallone observed one of Morrison's bouts, Stallone arranged the script reading and cast Tommy Morrison for the movie Rocky V as Tommy the Machine Gun, a young and talented protege of the retired Rocky Balboa. Morrison took a six-month break from boxing to work on the movie in 1990. From December 8, 1989 to June 8, 1990, Morrison did not compete in a single boxing match that was due to both injuries and his involvement in the Rocky V movie. In 1991, Morrison won four bouts, including notable victories against opponents James Stillis, the first man to take Mike Tyson the distance. From the first bell, Tommy unleashed on James Stillis, trying to give him the signature hook to the body and hook to the head. James sought to parry Tommy's shots by setting up a high guard, but Tommy soon found a way through James' guard, sending James crashing backwards into the corner and his head banging against the ropes. James struggled to find his feet as he staggered back and forth during the fight. It was only the first round and he was already nearing imminent defeat. Tommy unleashed on him once again, pushing him back towards the ropes and cutting the ring off as James struggled to deal with Tommy's tempo. Tommy sent him crashing once again down to the canvas with a barrage of hooks. Now, one can say that maybe after fighting Iron Mike Tyson, he wasn't in the best shape of his life. Maybe he took damage in that fight. But then, it is difficult to argue against Tommy Morrison putting him out in the very first round of their fight. And while he was struggling to find his vision to correct the fight, Tommy once again unleashed on him, making sure that he had no room or no chance to recover. And the referee subsequently waved the fight off. Tommy Morrison had conquered the man that took Mike Tyson 12 rounds. Another common opponent between Mike Tyson and Tommy Morrison was star Mike Williams. Williams was scheduled to fight against Tommy Morrison in August of 1993, but Williams withdrew on the night of the fight. So, 
team Tomashek stood in as replacement. But as soon as Williams was ready to get back into the ring with Tommy Morrison, Tommy was sure as ever ready to put Williams away. Sending Williams crashing into the canvas in the very first round. With Williams getting up on his feet and rallying to drop Tommy in the fifth round. Both fighters went at it. Tooth and nail Tommy Morrison fought to establish himself in the middle of the ring and subsequently the pressure wore on Williams as he was unable to answer any of Tommy's shots which led to the referee calling off the fight. Tommy Morrison had conquered yet another fighter that he had in common with Iron Mike Tyson. In the year 1991, Tommy Morrison would taste his first defeat at the hands of the merciless Ray Mercer. In what many boxing fans and analysts describe as one of the worst stoppages in boxing history, the referee allowed Tommy Morrison to take six more unanswered shots at the hands of Ray Mercer, who has since then explained that he was only mad because he was making $50,000 more than Tommy Morrison, despite the fact that he was the champion at the time. My manager told me, or my trainer told me, that I'm only giving $50,000 more than Tommy And I was champion. And that pissed me off. In the same year, I am Mike Tyson was getting sentenced to prison, with Mike making his way out of prison three years later to ascend back up again in the ranks in the heavyweight division. Tommy Morrison at this point was already seen as he has been, with the best days of his career behind him. So it is very difficult to imagine what would have happened in a fight between both of them, especially given the fact that as at 1988 when Tommy Morrison was still walking his way up the ranks in the heavyweight division, Iron Mike Tyson was already on top of the world. It is however easy to imagine that many boxing historians and fans alike would favor Iron Mike Tyson to beat Tommy Morrison if they were ever to fight in their prime. But in boxing, never say never because you just never know whose night it might be 